teamwork right there. That, that is, is teamwork. That is the fattest bad drive I've ever seen. Today we are in a new area compared to yesterday. Still, same general area, but never been here, never hunted it. Uh, yesterday we got four. Should have had five, saw six. So today, hopefully we can beat that. We'll be going home back to St. George today. Yeah, hopefully. But you know, when you don't know the area, it's hard to make quality stands. But we'll see. Well, guys, we're about halfway through the first month of the tour. And on this video, I decided to let Tim help me out on some of the editing and some of the voiceover. Kind of trying to get him trained up on doing the editing. That way, these guys can get out and help get us more footage for you guys to enjoy. Thanks so far, guys, for all the support. Give these guys a big hand for helping us out. They're really doing us a huge favor this year, helping us get some good content for the video series. This coyote came in directly to our right. I tried to get him on camera, but there's no reference points in this flat stage, so no luck. Sometimes these coyotes that are real hesitant, it's real hard to just let them walk away and not try and give them around. Woo! Well, at least I got him running away. He came, he came running off this hill. You see this little hump right here? Yeah. Came right there and then he was running away. I think he came from over here. Did you hit him right now? I think I hit him. Yeah, I didn't get the video of the shot. Well, me and Tim just looked for about 15 minutes for the dog. Couldn't find him, couldn't find tracks. The ground's frozen, so we're gonna head to the next stand. Let's go get us a dog. Well, as you guys know by watching this series so far, Hunter's had a few misses. We do our best to show hunting in its real situations, and you can't make every shot. Granted, there for a few years, we were over 90% on our shooting ratio, but keep in mind, guys, that Garrett and I have been hunting as a pair for 10 years, and Garrett has been coyote hunting for longer than these guys have been alive. So give them a little bit of break and tell them thanks for the awesome footage of especially the shotgun dogs they've got. Well guys, I've been doing my best to keep the counter accurate, but if you guys see mistakes in my counting, be sure to let me know so I can fix it. I got really lucky right there because that was the only spot I could shoot him. Yeah, and I... Any, any uh, other spot I couldn't shoot. Yeah, I don't even know if I got that on video. There's just no landmarks to base it off on this little screen. I saw him <laughs> coming clear over here and I, as you can I see. thought it was a bird dipping down. And then I saw him cross the road, and that's how I knew it was Kyle. Right. There's our truck right there. The only wash in this whole flat. <laughs> yeah, look at that shit, dude. Yeah, it's brand new. Yeah, it's the second coyote that just wasn't really a hard charger compared to yesterday when all of them were hard chargers. So, looks like today we're going to be doing a lot, a lot of longer range shooting. We're so lucky he stopped right here. I know. <laughs> Damn, he has a big head on him. Her, him, uh, yeah. him. Another male. Not bad. Yeah. Not that old. Where did I hit him at? I think you just... Not even a, any blood. See, nope. it's probably what happened to the other one. Probably. <laughs> not bad. Dog. And honestly, without this chair, I wouldn't have been able to make that shot. Like, there's no way. It's starting to run out of room back here.
After looking back on this footage, we could tell we just barely grazed him on this shot. What do you mean? These ones are the most frustrating ones. The ones you know you should have hit twice, but still get away. Did you bump your scope? I don't know. Oh, that f***ing powder splashed in my eyes. Do you think he, you bumped your scope or something? I don't know, but both shots were on him. You know, sometimes you miss shots you just definitely think you should have made, and it's always worth double checking your gun. For instance, last year we had four different guns during the tour get knocked off and be at least two inches off. It happened to mine, it happened to Garrett's, it happened to Luke's, and it happened to Jeff's. So if you think you may or should have made a shot and you didn't, always double check your gun. After that last stand, we did shoot the gun and it was on. So honestly, we think some of these misses that we just should have had are from the tall grass. You just can't see the grass in your scope. The, when you shoot the bullet as light as it is, it hits the grass and knocks it off course. You know, me and Garrett had this conversation at the very beginning of the year. With the wet winter and spring that we had, the grass and everything is taller than it's ever been. I can count three times this year already that I've witnessed the bullet hitting something in the path of the coyote. This last trip out, it actually made it really hard to make some stands and we weren't able to make a lot of our good stands. After the last couple, we definitely didn't have to worry about the grass on this one. Hornady, call us. We need more bullets. It's like 99% with them. 100 actually, but thanks. You know, in the first week of the tour, these guys have probably killed more coyotes with a shotgun than we have in the last two years. Just goes to show you there's no real right or wrong way to do it. It's just a matter of different styles and different hunting country. Tim with another shotgun dog. We needed this one. I suck I at saw, shooting I'm today. I'm so, so surprised I saw him as far out as I did. Yeah, Tim saw him. I like freaking a quarter mile away and then he came running and he's got a pretty cool pelt on him sorry about the camera rattling you really can't tell it's doing it until you look at the footage after hopefully we got it fixed now another male that's five out of six males good dog so i went back to the truck and came down this two track because there's a pretty far walk to the stand Tim's right here waiting with the dog. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. About time. Heck yeah, sorry, I got lost. So that went pretty good, um, considering we were in Utah for the most part. Um, got six total for the two days, pretty much a day and a half. Um, missed two. So should have had eight. Did pretty good. Second day, they wouldn't come in 
before eight minutes. First day, they'd all come in below five. Yeah, yesterday they were all hard chargers before eight minutes. And today they were from eight to 13 minutes. So a couple of times I switched the sound and they came in on the second sound. So all depends on what you're calling. Yeah. Well, here's a little bonus clip of a nice buck chasing some does. These guys have actually seen quite a few pretty good bucks while they're out. Me and Garrett, on the other hand, we just called one in. 